Congrats in order to Russell Westbrook as he moves into ninth on the all-time assist list, uh, surpassing one of my favorite players of all time, one of my top three players of all time, Isaiah Thomas, on the assist list. And it's brought up to debate now about Russell Westbrook, his legacy, and what does he rank among all-time guards? Now, this is a kind of a trick question because when you say all-time guards, are you talking about both positions combined or Russell Westbrook as a point guard? <laughs> So is Russell Westbrook? So for example, is Russell Westbrook a top ten all time guard? I would probably lean no. Now, if you saw Russell Westbrook as an all time top ten point guard, now you have a discussion there because if you talk about all time guards, first off, in the point guard list, number one, I'm taking Magic, I'm taking Stockton, I'm taking uh, Isaiah, I'm taking Curry, I'm taking Chris Paul over him right now off the bat, okay? That's his point guards, okay? And then some people will say that's like Steve Nash over him as well, too, or even Jason Kidd. That's seven point guards alone. And then in shooting guard, you obviously take Michael Jordan over him, that's eight. You take Kobe Bryant over him, that's nine. Dwayne Wade, that's ten. Right there. So ten guys right that gave me there in splitting the guard position, position up here as who I'm taking over with Westbrook. Now, if we're talking all-time point guards... I might lean yes, because productivity speaking, look, we know how volatile uh, Russell Westbrook is as a player, has been for a long time, and more so now in his later years so far. But he's, but we do know also that at a peak of his powers, when he was um, obviously a lot younger and, you know, look, he's still a really good player, but he's just a lot chaotic. Like, you know, you know that like style of play he plays, obviously, but in terms of just productivity, he's one of the most productive players in the history of the game. He's definitely deserving of top 75 talk, top, top 75 uh, accolades. No one's questioned that. He's not a top 10 guard all time, no. But top 10 point guard? Absolutely. I, I, look, I'll, the five guys I mentioned, I'll take, you know, Magic, Curry, Isaiah, Stockton, uh, 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 Chris Paul, you name it. Uh, he's definitely on the, bottom t- on the bottom 10, probably closer to 8 through 10. It's not a bad place to be at. I will say this much though: if Russell Westbrook can somehow, some way, in these la- in his last half of his career, late late part of his career, turn around somehow, be productive, but still be in a way where he's not as chaotic, and actually be one of the focal points winning a title, I think that goes a long way in changing the perception of, of Westbrook. Um, in the same way Chris Paul has as, as, is trying to do, even with, as a guy that's having a ring himself. But in terms of being a top ten point guard, yes, he's definitely in the top ten. Um, I, you know, I, I put him between like between seven, maybe eight or ten. Um, like I said, I'm taking the five guys I mentioned. I'm still taking, uh, probably still taking Steve Nash because Steve Nash, you know, while he wasn't as productive in terms of like you know overall play, he was more. He was actually uh, his game still aged well. Whereas Westbrook in his later years, still a good player, but. The game is not gel with it, but it's more of an individual thing as opposed to um, um, being a, uh, a, a playing within a team concept. Um, and again, I, I'm a huge Westbrook fan, huge, and I'm rooting for the guy. I want him to do well with the Clippers, of course, And but we'll see how that plays out in, in, in these last weeks into, into the playoffs. Again, these playoffs are going to be so fascinating because not just the, the wide openness at all, but you have all these narratives we're, we're looking into, all these narratives like what if, if Chris Paul was a title, Durant, Kyrie, Westbrook. Um, you know, all these legacy plays. So that's why these playoffs are going to be one to watch because of the narratives alone. All right.